would choose another street for jogging. We're well, going to explore the Spanish tradition of bullfighting and a special city in Spain called Barcelona. Go, go, gadget, field trip. Barcelona, which is a beautiful city on the coast of Spain. If it spread any farther, it would fall in the water. Barcelona is the capital of the province of Catalonia, on the northeast coast of Spain. Though Catalonia is part of Spain, it has its own culture and even its own language. There are three major languages spoken in Spain, aside from the official Castilian Spanish. In Barcelona, they speak a language called Catalan. In other northern provinces, they speak Basque and Gallego. Wowza! This is the Ramblas. The Ramblas is five streets connected end to end, starting at the Plaza de Catalonia and rambling all the way down to the waterfront. If they rambled any further, they'd make quite a splash. This place has everything. Would you believe miles of street performers, shops, musicians, fortune tellers, and artists? Would you believe the world's longest souvenir stand? How about three postcards and a bad mind? This is the Gothic quarter of Barcelona called the Berrier Gothique because it's very Gothic. Uh, very Gothic. Perrier Gothique is the oldest part of the city. Of course it's old. It's Gothic. Barcelona Cathedral is almost 700 years old. Construction began in 1298, and the Gothic building was completed around 1450. The main front and the dome were not added until the late 19th century. They wanted to add a rumpus room and convert the garage, but they couldn't get permits from the city. The Plaza del Rey, with its cathedral and historic monuments, is another beautiful square. Legend has it that when explorer Christopher Columbus returned to Spain from his visit to the New World, Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand were here waiting. Christopher Columbus was immortalized forever with this Columbus Monument, which is located at the end of the Ramblas. What's a trip to Barcelona without playing in the world's largest billiard game? Wowzers, those cues are over a hundred meters tall. Wait a minute, those aren't billiard cues. They're the spires of the Templo de la Sagrada Familia. This temple and its spires were built by the famous Spanish architect, Gaudí, 
who aspired a lot in the Spire Department. He began work on it in 1883, intending it to be the great modern church of Barcelona. The spires were symbolic of the 12 apostles, the four evangelists, the Virgin Mary, and Jesus Christ. There were supposed to be 18 towers in all, but Gaudi died after building only eight. Gaudi was a little architect with big plans. On one side of the building, he wanted to show the creation of Earth from beginning to end. Wowza! That's a lot of history to cover in one place. Excuse me, madam, could you tell me if there's a fortune in my future? You know, usually fortune tellers talk more. This one must be on a fortune teller strike. Actually, she's a machine. Part of the Automata Museum, which means Automation Museum in Spanish. This place has everything from automated clowns to automated dancers and a guillotine. No waiting. Step right up and lose your head. This place has more automatic machines than you can shake a gadget at. I'll have to keep moving or they'll make a ride out of me. For those of you into the more traditional gadgets, Barcelona has an automated Ferris wheel and roller coaster. Spain is a hotbed of creativity. Many famous artists came from Spain, like Pablo Picasso. Another artist close to the Spaniards' hearts was Juan Miro. Juan Miro established an international reputation while always staying close to his homeland of Spain. Miro lived from 1893 to 1983. He is famous for his paintings and drawings, which are often recognized by their childlike delight in colors and shapes. Early on, Miro developed his style of spilling paint onto a canvas and moving it around with his brush. The Juan Miro Foundation is where 145 sculptures, tapestries, and pieces of ceramic by this famous Spanish artist are displayed. It's true, you can count them. I always thought the red color of the cape is what made the bull mad, but it's actually the motion of the cape that really gets him charging. You could wave a polka dot cape and still set them off. Time to read the paper to find out the starting time for the bullfight. And it says, any time the bull wants. Spaniards take bullfighting very seriously. Apparently, the bulls do too. Bullfighting has been a major part of Spanish culture for years. Bullfighting is a spectacle in which a bullfighter or matador challenges and fights a bull in a public arena. Doing it in private is known as dumb. Doing it in a closet is known as fatal. Bullfighting is one of Spain's favorite national pastimes. It's also popular in Mexico and other parts of Latin America, Southern France, and Portugal. You can learn more about bullfighting at Barcelona's Bullfighting Museum. The museum has two rooms which show the heads of famous fighting bulls. It also shows branding irons and emblems of famous cattle ranches. There's a collection of posters, old entrance tickets, the suits of famous matadors, and many more bullish items. During the first half of this century, five women have attained the rank of matador. Just recently, a woman in France earned the title of Matador for the first time in nearly 50 years. Bullfighting is now an equal opportunity employer. Remember those wacky bulls running in the streets of Pamplona? That celebration lasts around the clock for nine days from July 6th to the 14th, every year. And the entire town of Pamplona participates. If you look closely, you'll see that the bulls aren't really running. They're jogging. The people are running. If the bulls were running, there wouldn't be any people in front of them. 
It has become tradition for people to dance in the streets alongside the jogging bulls. There are also lots of bands and parades. The music helps muffle the screams. All the tourists have fun singing and dancing until all of a sudden the bulls want to cut in. This bull is a little unclear on the concept. He wants to dance with a runner. And now he's coming my way. Wait, my dance card's full. Yikes, ow! As the sun sets over Barcelona, it's time to say hasta la vista, baby. We had fun rambling down the Ramblas, fire counting at the Templo de la Sagrada Familia, aligning our gadgets at the Automata Museum, pushing paintbrushes with Picasso and towels, and running with the raging bulls. Be sure to stampede back for more adventures. Whoa! Go, go, gadget field trip! Thank you.